Hello everybody, welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Here we are back following this tram through our city. And the amazing comments are you guys and girls absolutely love the tram that we set up in our city last episode. We are certainly going to be using these more. And the, and the areas that we're going to build up today are going to be huge. So many people are going to want to go and visit them that we're definitely going to have the trams in there as well. And I love this little run down here with the road, the tram, the train, the dedicated tram line so it doesn't affect the traffic. Oh, I absolutely love it. So, there we go. Oh, by the way, this is what that tram was. Lots of people recognised it. I believe it was from Germany. I don't know. I just found it looks good, so I uh, so I used it. Yeah, we are going to work on this little area over here that we've been uh, we've had sort of we've tickled away at this with a little bit here, a little bit there, and I've got a new mod um, that I want to tell you about. It is called Demographics Jobs and Employees, and it gives you this. And don't worry, I'm not going to go through all the figures here. We're going to look at one particular figure. This is the figure that I want to look at over here. Uneducated, educated well-educated and highly educated people in our city we all understand how that works they go through the school system and if they go to university they come out highly educated this figure here shows you how many workers you have versus how many jobs you have so down here we've got 704 uneducated workers but 3090 jobs so we're we're covering our uneducated workers no problem Equally, we're covering our educated workers, but well, by an even greater amount. Now, well-educated and highly educated, we have more workers than jobs available. 11,000 to 7,000 and 22,000 to 9,000. We need to increase our well-educated and highly educated jobs. Now, I've done a lot of research as to what sort of buildings and jobs we can use to try and fill those needs now if at any point i'm saying anything wrong please let me know in the comments below i've tried to do the research try to get this right but from my understanding uh, we can have office zones as it says there at the end therefore educated citizens make sure you have a university in the city to provide suitable workers now i'm assuming that also applies to this one here which is it cluster so it's high tech buildings which give you the really tall looking buildings i love the look of those and i believe as well high density commercial is also good so high density commercial building and we can see who's here highly educated well educated so we've got highly educated people working here one of them's over educated yes there we go one extra person there whereas if we look at these ones so low density commercial buildings we've still got highly educated ones in there and we've got two over educated workers so two of these we don't need so that's one one two and two is the uh, capacity on those and was it these ones here high density zero zero six and nine there we go so these need more well educated and highly educated yeah so that makes sense so even though some of them can work in these uh, low density shops they're better off in the high density ones and then if we have a look at the office buildings again lots and lots highly educated so that is what we need so we're going to take this area here i'm going to have this area around here is going to be it cluster buildings we're going to sort of do something a bit different we're going to spread some stuff out and see what it looks like this area over here i think this one is going to be leisure over here and then this one is going to be tourism. And then also, in so we've got the monorail that sort of goes around the outside. And then connected near that, we are also going to use some of our tram tracks as well. So, whoo, a lot to do. So let me just put the districts in here and we can get started planning this out and building the roads and putting all our mass transit in. Okay, let's have a quick look at our moneymaker roundabout. So I want to see if I can add in a monorail station in there. I'm thinking of using one of these little zonable pedestrian roads because it, it says there that only accessible to pedestrians and emergency vehicles i'm assuming that's just sort of built in to the road i mean that's got all of them as available there cars and everything but we can turn that off anyway if we need to and then we can put on the side of that one of these which is good i wanted to do that rather than the big one with the road because that's just too big of a road in the middle so if we did something like that 
Yeah, and then we can even use the move it mod and move that down a touch. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. And that brings it in nice and sharp. Very good. And then we can pop that in the middle in here somehow. I'm going to use the move it mod. Let's just grab... Uh, use that one there. Let's just grab that whole thing and copy it. There we go. A couple of clicks later. That is nicely lined up. I'm liking the look of that. And then we just need this road. Unfortunately, it needs to connect somewhere. I'm just wondering whether, instead of connecting it to the roundabout, we could bring that road underground and just connect it somewhere else so it doesn't cause any problems. Okay, what do you reckon at that? I think that is looking nice and swish. We've all got the access here with the path. Just imagine that this path coming down here is steps instead of a, <laughs> a death slide. And yeah, everybody can get in and out. And I've just run the little access road underneath and it connects down here for now. We'll change that if we need to when we go on. So that is going to be the idea um, that I'm going to put in the other roundabouts as well. But now let's start working out our road access in this section in these sections here let's keep the camera this way round so this one over here the olive district we're going to need some cool t related names for it cluster let's not have i t spelt t e a come up with some amazing ideas i know you can uh, orchard hills is going to have to change that is the tourism specialist and chestnut park is the ledger specialist so let me know in the comments below i'm going to mark out some roads first of all for our it area <laughs> Right, this is the road layout we are going for. I'm leaving a bit of space because I'm going to have a nice big green area inside here. That is the idea. But before we get to that, we need to just go around and sort out all of our junctions here. So if we do a nice control click with the change lane arrows, there we go. We're now going to get dedicated turning lanes. And I want to make that give way coming out of there let's do the same over here so give way so keep an eye on that arrow there there we go dedicated turning lanes that is good and then coming up this side we need to do it there and uh, there's quite a few places actually coming down this main road we need to do it there need to do it there need to do it there that's going to whiz around that's going to go there down here as well dedicated turning lanes i've tried to keep these junctions as far apart as reasonably possible i also need to straighten that out so we get a proper four-way turn there yeah, i'll look at that uh dedicated turning lanes thank you very much that one there i think was already done that one that one i think that's it Yep, that's all. And then our giveaway, just to make sure that there we go. Our main whoops, our main road can keep going. That's gonna give way. That's gonna go all the way around. So that's gonna give way. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, have that. I'm gonna have that one as giveaway here and keep this moving round. We'll do that as giveaway. That one's fine. There we go. I think that's probably... Oh, yeah, this one down here. This one that connects over here is done. This one that connects over here. That one as well. I think that's it. If I've missed any, I'll go back and I'll check them. I've done that. Good. So everybody can keep moving. I want to make this little bit in here a park. There we go. Fantastic. We are going to put the entrance over here. So a little bit further away from that park on that side. 
there we go. So we now have Beach Hill Park, and we'll come back to doing that one another time. I would also like to put in here some unique buildings and some of these plazas and things like that to smarten the place up. So let me do that as well. And as we can afford it, as we put some of these down here, we're working towards uh, unlocking our monuments. I know they're already all, <laughs> all unlocked, but I'm trying to actually unlock the real buildings that we need so we can do those. So if we look at our monuments here, a lot of these need to be done before we can place some of these. So I am doing that as well. So the transport tower, I think that will fit in rather well with all of our nice big buildings that we're going to end up in here. Oh, this is a good one. HCC. The H&A Poly International Center. We are going to pop that over here somewhere. That is fantastically large. I like that a lot. And Colossal Order Towers. That is definitely going to go in this area. And our lovely services... Service Services Building. <laughs> I can never remember the name of that one. Very cool. And I've got these roundabout buildings, which I've got two of them here. Let's just check whether we've got any more roundabout building. Yeah, there's four of them here. I'm just wondering whether... And what's this one here? Oh, roundabout building. Oh, that is really big. Oh, can we do something with that and get that at the end of this area here? That would look fantastic. Maybe we just need to move this down a bit. Let's use the Move It mods. And see if we can make this happen. Let's grab all of these nodes. Any more nodes here? Yeah, and let's just budge this down. Yeah, I reckon that's going to fit in. So let's use the Anarchy mod just to place it. And then we're going to use the Move It mod. I think maybe if we just have it a little bit back from the road like that. I like that a lot. That looks really, really cool at the end there. It's making me now wish that I could have another area like that where I could put some more of those buildings. Hmm. Okay, so I've just dropped a few services in here as well. Police, fire, uh, medical, we've got a little hospital. We've got a waste transfer facility. Now, we did say that we were going to get some. Here we go. We're going to get some of these tram tracks in here as well. So most people are hopefully going to be coming in via the monorail over here. So I'm thinking of having the tram around start from around here somewhere i'm not quite sure having it oh even this road here look that is absolutely perfect could we get oh wow look at all these people coming in oh my goodness me where are they all going already people are coming in and we've only just started plopping down some of these buildings that is absolutely fantastic let's speed it up and watch where they're all going so most of these are coming around this way are they coming to visit some of the stuff we put down? They, ha they are. Look, that is brilliant. And these ones down here are coming around there, probably heading off to some of these. Ah, very good, very good. So could we, if we upgraded this road, could we run it underneath the monorail? I don't think that's going to work, is it? Let's just test it on this little bit on the end here. Now, nah, look. How about if I do that and then run it out of the end here? How does that look? Oh, do you know what? It actually goes underneath. So that is entirely possible. That is fantastic. So we could have it come down there. And then what I was thinking was we could run it alongside or through the middle of the park up here. So we could have a stop and a turnabout up there, come down here, turn around down here or something like that. Just to, you know, I mean, people could walk that distance, but instead they can come and take our tram because I'm absolutely loving the trams at the moment. I'm just doing that so I can find the centre. That looks more or less like the centre to me. I wonder if, if I go like that, and like that, and like that, and get the roundabout mod, hmm, it's not going to do it with tram tracks, but if I do that, can I then... This will be interesting... Oh, a bit of a stutter, but yes, I can upgrade that to be a nice tram turnaround. Oh, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. So that is going to come off of there. It, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Let's turn off the roundabout mod. Let's bring that one down here. So what are we going to do? We're going to bring it over that way as well. I think that would be a good idea. Let's try and find a point there. Just wondering whether we could bring it down this road here. I mean, I don't normally want the trams on the road, but I know this isn't going to be too busy in here. So if we bring that across there like that, I've already lined this road up 
because I was thinking ahead. And then we could run it down here, past the Colossal Order office, and then we've got, look at that, a perfect place to go one way round here, come across there, and then back down here. And you've got your turn, whoops, you've got your turning circle. That is great. So we just need to connect these two up. And this one here, I think I'm going to do a nice, a nice curve, because why not? Where's my thing? Road guidelines. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, I think that needs to come out straight a bit. And then go in. Something like that. Yeah, that looks good. And then we just remove this one here. And then I'm going to make this one a little bit more of a curve. There we go. Oh, that is nice. I like that. I like that a lot. And then we're going to run that from... Oh, we've got to have a turnaround spot in here. Oh, heck. How are we going to do that? Um... Um, um, um... Okay, troubleshooting mode. Let us... I don't want to... Oh, I could have it turn around under there. But if I came all the way up... Can I run a tram up the middle of this? With the Anarchy mod on. Oh, yeah. It's letting me. It's letting me. Am I going to regret this? <laughs> yep. Oh, mama. Yeah, that ain't going to work, is it? Let us get rid of that. Oh, darn it. And now I can't flip and delete. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I've managed to sort of swing a road around here. We'll see how that goes. If it needs adjusting slightly, uh, we can work on that. But yeah, for now, I think that will do. I'm going to make that give way so we get rid of any of the signs that we had there. Um, oh, what's going on here? We've got these junctions too close together. Yeah, we're going to pretend that's a bit of tarmac that's come up, but it's going to sort itself out, and we won't even see it once we've got all the trees and things in here. Yeah, that is what's going to happen. Right, so... Let us have our lines out here. They can come out. They can cross straight over and get on here. And then that is going to go... Which side of the road is that? Nope, let's take this side then. There we go. Let's have a stop there. Uh, a stop along there. We're going to have one on that side here for whatever's inside there. We'll have this one away from... Let's have it this side, away from this junction. Then we'll come... This isn't going to be as busy, so I'm not too worried about that. And then we'll have a stop there on the way out of this square. And then we'll just work our way back and put opposite ones on. A bit worried about that one there, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, there we go. There we go. And then we're going to go up this side. So we're going to have one there, one there, one there, one there. And then that's going to go. Let's have a look. Unfortunately, it's going to cross over itself, but... There isn't going to be that many on there, so we're going to be fine. Uh, we don't have any vehicles on here because we have no tram depot in this area. And unfortunately, the nearest tram depot we've got is all the way over here, didn't we? We put it up there somewhere. So I think this is going to have to have its own tram depot. And we can probably... Oh, it's going to be tight. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to delete that load. We're going to pop that in there, and then we're going to move this and put that on the main road like that. And that fits in nicely. And then we're going to get our trams coming out of there. Nice. Okay, so I've put a load of trees down. This is going to be a quick and dirty park for now, but I think it's actually going to end up looking quite nice. And, uh, yeah, I want to try and stop people being able to get into here unless they come in my entrances and exits. And we know people can walk down these tram lines. So I'm hoping that we can ban pedestrians some way. No, we can't. Is there a way I can ban pedestrians from walking down a piece of road like this? Ah, do you know what? I'm not entirely sure whether that's even possible. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to be happy with the fact that we're not going to make as much money as we would have done if we'd stopped people walking down the tram tracks. If we didn't have the tram here. But I love the way it looks. It's fantastic. Um, we don't have a huge amount of other stuff in here. We will do that another time. I want to now get to 
building our IT buildings. We've been waiting for this all the way along. So this is the Olive District. We have it marked for IT building specialization, IT clusters. Um, so I'm going to put these in and then we're going to see what it all looks like. Okay, here we are heading out on our tram. The tram depot is off to the right hand side. We are now crossing over and I'm about to head into the park. Here we go. We are now inside the park and there's already people waiting to jump on the trams. I think I've fallen in love with trams again. I haven't used them for so long and we've used them twice now. Yeah, this is inside the park. So as time goes on, I'm going to build up this park and a few more bits and pieces in here. But for now, I just wanted a nice leafy suburb, uh, not suburb, nice leafy park that we could take our tram through. I did go through after placing all of these trees and try and make sure I'd moved any out of the way that were uh, that were on the line. Hopefully I haven't missed any. Maybe we're going to brush a, three, a few branches here and there. Ah, oh, here we go. We're coming up to the little roundabout at the top with our roundabout buildings around the roundabouts. Oh my goodness me. Oh, oh we can't see them because of all the trees. There we go. There's one there. There's another one there. <laughs> really hard to see. Now we're turning off down to the road that's got our monorail and our train station on. So we're interested to see how many people down here are going to be wanting to use this? Oh, there's loads waiting on the other side of the road. Did you see that? And here's our little turnaround section. I think it works okay. Yeah, why not? Can't complain about that. Oh, look. And there's all the people dying to get on our tram. Well, let's just zoom out a bit and take a look at this area a bit more closely. Okay, I have to say, I really like how this area has turned out. I think it looks fantastic. We've got lots of options here for public transportation, which many, many people are using. Um, at the moment, this probably sticks out a bit like a sore thumb. 
um, because there's nothing else here. But when we build up these other areas, we're going to get a lot more houses in here as well. And we're going to have something between our big sort of clumps that we've got. Big clump here, big clump here. Our districts, I suppose you could call them. We are going to have houses in between as well to try and sort of temper that difference. Um, some low residential stuff. But let me know what you think. What do you think of this park as well running through the middle? I love the fact you can have really tall buildings like this around a nice park area. And look at all the people coming in. That is absolutely brilliant. I just want to see uh, how much money are we making with this park down here. Probably not much at the moment. Well, I've gone got the money up. But <laughs> let's put that up. So, yeah, income's not brilliant over the expenses but like we said people can walk into the park down this path here and not pay to get in so as we start adding reasons for people to get in it'll be interesting to see but look there are some using these paths here and if they're using the paths that means they're going through a gate because these uh, paths are separate from this uh, line running through the middle here but yeah look here there's some people just walking in and there's no gate there i don't think there's a way around that we've sort of had that issue before but there we go that is pretty darn good let's just see how many people are using this new tram line um so that'll be that one there so that's this line here the green one so 12 vehicles, 41 passengers. We can definitely knock down the number of vehicles. There we go. That one and that one. That should be absolutely plenty for the people that are waiting. Have we got any overloaded lines? No. So that's good. They're keeping on top of that. And then we want to finally take a look at our... Uh, population tab which is giving us this information here okay so i've got the figures on my other screen over here you can't see it so we had 22,389 workers that is exactly the same uh, the jobs before we had 9,432 now we've got 10,450 for highly educated uh, before workers we had 11,000 now we've got 10,000 so i'm assuming some of those Maybe you've died. We did have a little mini. Yeah, we've got a couple of thousand less people that we had before. Uh, Job-wise, we had 7,400 before, 8,200 now for well-educated. So we've definitely got more well-educated and highly educated jobs. As we work on these other areas around here, I expect that to go up and even more people to be educated, the higher educated ones to have jobs, to be employed and earning us more money. That is what we want. All right, this is my favourite little bit over here, the roundabout end. So we'll finish by looking at that. Let me know what you think about this build in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like as well. I didn't put any car parks in. We'll need to do that next time. I will see you soon. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.